welcome back to the channel once again now we want to draw this we want to practice this 2d drawing in autocad it seems a bit difficult but trust me it's very easy you just have to understand uh, what we are doing and then we can do it first of all let's try and understand the dimensions given and then we can take it from there okay so if you check inside here there's a circle with diameter 50 okay and uh, there's another circle outside here with radius 4.5 and then if you look at this cut this design over here let me start from here you can see there's an angle formed at the end here 20 here to 20 and this side is having a fillet of 2 and uh, the length or the height from this to the end side here is 3.5 and then the end to end distance also is 3.5 now this is also at an angle this is the center line so it's at an angle of 22.5 degrees from this line okay so let's open our autocad and then start drawing now i'll pick center diameter and then I'll just draw a circle with diameter of 5 millimeters. The dimensions are very very small. So you just zoom out. Okay, so this is the inside circle. Then now let's draw this one also with radius 4.5. So I'll select center radius. So click 4.5. Alright. So now can see this thing is drawn at an angle but I'll draw it vertical and after that I will rotate it to this angle so let's let's start let's see what you do now you can see let's draw a straight line first to help us so I'll just draw a straight line or I can even start from this part and then a straight line if you check the distance is uh, 3.5 so just enter 3.5 3.5 good now I will offset a 3.5 if I divide it I'm going to get uh, 1.75 so 1.75 for this side 1.75 for this side so just take the offset and then enter 1.75 okay okay so after the offset now remember the three point if you check here 3.5 is from this end okay it's from this end so not the center is from this end to this side is 3.5 so after the offset you need to bring it down okay so just select it and then you can use move command this for beginners that's why i'm showing you this and just click the end point and make sure your green tracking line is on that one will guide you see where it's where it is intersecting you just click the same way come here use the move command then move it just vertically down for you to meet the line okay so we have that done now after that we would uh, draw let's try and draw the line at an angle of 20 degrees from this line okay so i'll just pick a line and then from the center so just click from the center and now you have to notice something here this is 90 okay so 90 plus the 20 we are going to add the 20 degrees to the 90 okay so we have 90 plus 20 which is going to give us 110 so forget about the length and just enter 110 okay just make sure it's long enough Okay, so we just let me delete it and do it again. 
from the center just make sure it's long enough like this and then press your tab key then enter 110 okay so this is it now we need to mirror this line so select it and go to mirror then locate the, the center and then click and when you finish click no okay so we have to draw a line from this end to this end and then we trim all the unnecessary lines that we don't need okay now there's a fillet here a fillet of two millimeters so just click fillets pick radius enter two select this line and this line press enter to reactivate okay and now we have one side done and there are six numbers if you check one two three four five there are six so we are going to rotate it now remember this angle we we've done it as an angle of 90 degrees now it's at, at angle 90 so we are going to add the this angle to 90 degrees so when we add it which is 22.5 when we add it you are going to get 112.5 so we are going to rotate this thing at an angle of 112.5 so select it and then enter ro for rotate press enter now specify your base point now this is my base point okay so you see the rotation all right so just enter an angle of 112.5 and you see it will be rotated now if you want to check just draw a line this is the center line okay and then if you check there's an angle so let me just draw another line from this center to this center just to measure the angle to show you so if you watch you can see all right so you have to change the autocad is running to the nearest number so i'll change it from there then you see okay so from here we need to use the polar array to get the number of side we want so i select all the objects okay and then i'll press enter now specify your base point which is here and then we need items we need six so that is it just close it okay so if you watch carefully we need to trim this side so let's trim use the trim command click here So you can see our work is nice and neatly done now we need to give dimensions to our work so I'll just increase the line width by just clicking this and now you see our work is nice and neatly done now for me to give dimension I'll create a layer so go to layer properties I always want to put my dimensions on a separate layer go to new layer and give it a name then change the color let me use yellow okay then i'll change the line width also if i don't change the line width to pick the default one here which is too big so just click okay and close it all right so from here we can actually start our dimensions from let's start from here the inside one so i'll pick diameter now you can see let me activate the layer okay so you can see it's too big because the, the the numbers we used to the figures were too small that is the dimension they were the numbers were very small so to make this thing smaller just go to manage dimension style 
and then we reduce it so symbols and arrow I'll choose 0 0.7 then text also 0 0.7 okay now let's close it and you see it's a little bit better so okay and uh, let dimension this end so we pick a line and then we dimension this and this okay so i think i didn't do it well align dimension this and this which is 3.5 also there's another radius here this one which is 4.5 and then this fillet so another radius which is two okay so they are two shown and then angle for this line so i'll pick this line and this line you can see the angle showing is 20 the same here pick this line this line you can see so it's too big so I'll do it at a different side let me do it here you can see it's also 20 all right so I think remaining one align from here which is uh okay so i have to draw a straight line so that let me draw a straight line so i can dimension from this side okay so go back to your layer pick a line now you can see it's 3.5 now you can delete this line all right so okay so we forgot to dimension the angle here and then the angle form here and then the center line here so let me put just go to annotate and then you choose a center mark or center line let's use center line now click this line and this line okay so if it's not coming just uh, draw a line you can just draw a line from the center here okay to this side and change it go into properties and then change the line width from here to 0 0.25 okay now we want to use the color this color over here so just type in ma which is for match properties and then click this line okay and then bring it here all right so it will automatically make this one also a center line now let's see the distance 3.5 and the angle is 22.5 so angular this line this line you can see it's 23 so autocad is running to the nearest let me choose that is why you are seeing 23 so it's actually 22.5 so for you to change it you can just go to manage dimension style just go to the manage dimension style and then go to modify now you can see angular dimension the precision is set to zero so change it to 0, 0.0 to the small place and then one the small place and then you can dimension it again and you see it's 22.5 okay you can see it's 22.5 as shown all right so that is it thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe and then like share and then see you in my next tutorial.